Uh, good morning everyone. So today we are working on the putting the buttons on the van. Um, where do I have to look into? Look into there. So today we're looking at uh, putting the batons into the van. The batons for the uh, for the tongue and groove uh, for the van. So we've done. Well, I'll show you where we are so far. Uh, oh, I've got it facing me, haven't I? Is that the right way around? I can't remember. So anyway, yes. So I'll show you what we've done so far and where we are at this stage. At least the days are a bit brighter. So we've been able to uh, get on with a little bit of work. Anyway, I'll just show you where we are now. So, so far we've, um, yeah, as I think we've just uh, been telling you previously, we've put the insulation in. Then we've put the moisture barrier, which you can see. Uh, and now we're just putting the batons on. So this is my job for today getting these uh, the rest of these batons on and I've just uh, I've just finished doing the ones around the window they're a bit of a challenge I've got to be honest I'll show you how they're a little bit of a challenge because the window's got this big bow in it as you can see so I've had to cut the the batons and then I think what we'll have to do is we'll have to fill these gaps in here with some maybe tongue and groove or some sort of wood maybe to fill those gaps to make them look a little bit tidier um, but yeah but that's the stage we're at at the moment now all sealed as you can say with this uh, with this tape the tape we used for sealing the uh, the moisture barrier was this stuff it's uh, Fixman silver foil tape very very difficult to no not very very but very difficult to work with as in it's very fine but i have no doubt that it will actually produce a waterproof seal um but it is very fine tape and quite difficult to work with but i think it's going to be waterproof in itself in that water will not get through there and I think that I'm quite confident that that seal there will also be waterproof or at least water resistant so that our moisture barrier does exactly what it should do and uh, stop moisture. was just one thing um, one of the difficulties even though this vapor barrier that we're using to, and it's very simple and it is a vapor barrier it's going to do exactly what it needs to do but one of the difficulties with working with it is as we've come across a few times is this bunching up when you're screwing through it so it does take quite a lot of care um, in order to not rip the vapor barrier we did consider uh, maybe putting the batons behind the vapor barrier. I think we'll still come up with a very similar situation um, either way. So we've gone with this we've, we've gone with this way around so that the batons are on top of the vapor barrier. And then I think what we'll have to do is once that's all, once all the batons are on, is we'll seal. We'll put some more of this, more of this uh, fixman tape. We'll put it along these edges here. Um, just to ensure that any tears that are in the in the in the uh, in the vapor barrier will be covered. Um, I think that's probably the best way of going around it. It's uh, it's not it's, it's working, as you can see, just on that one. There is a little bit of a tear that's happened where it's ripped, so we'll just seal that in. Um, and any other little ones like that that come that happen, we'll just seal them with the tape. <laughs>
the days, weather dependent. So uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll catch up with you in a few days time. Thanks very much, see you soon.